Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is Sony A3000 3.1 channel soundbar. This soundbar got five speakers and three center speakers. This soundbar is with 240 audio power, Dolby Audio, DTS surround system, 360 reality audio, 360 spatia sound mapping this sound bar you can hook it up to you can connect it to your tv via optical cable hdmi cable is included in the packaging you can also connect this using bluetooth what i'm going to do now is to show you how to connect this sound bar up to your tv using optical cable but before we do that just gonna show you uh this is the audio nice and beautiful sound bar you can connect this sound bar to your mobile device play music stream music for your mobile device you can connect it to with it's with chromecast built in nice sound bar with this is nice sound bar with acoustic center sync technology perfectly align the sound bar with your sony bravia tv and stream music with spotify connect chromecast and apple or apple airplay too this sound bar got built in subwoofer with high resolution audio support preset mode you can change it to sound field mode immersive audio enhancement night mode and voice mode the remote control so you can change it to sound field as well okay this is the home you can select night mode using the night mode and voice you can use the remote control to select the specific mode you want support audio files audio processing dolby atmos dolby digital plus dolby dual mono dolby through hd dtx dts 9624 dts es audio feature x force pro front surround vertical surround engine 360 spatia sound mapping tv wireless connection you can also connect it with hdmi e arc bluetooth while built-in wi-fi war with google assistance amazon alexa chrome cast built-in apple airplay it's beautiful stuff now this sound bar is currently in bluetooth okay but i'm going to connect this to tv okay and to do this we're going to use lg tv What we need to do is we need to switch the sound bar off okay now so this cable okay goes to this cable this optical cable goes in okay so to hook it up you just need to push the cable inside here into the optical section and see what where it goes in okay so it goes into the the first port the bottom one the first port and the bottom one use the optical cable now the next thing to do is uh, take the other end of the cable okay this end of the cable plug it in hook it up to the back of your tv here where it's written digital optical digital audio out okay it's in now i'm just gonna plug the tv antenna okay the next thing to do is you need to plug the sound bar 
to the power and also plug in the TV to the socket. Okay. So once you connect the cable, the next thing to do, you need to switch the sound bar on and also switch the TV on. Now this is the TV audio. So go to your TV settings. Go to your TV setting and scroll down to the audio. Now the next thing to do, you need to select TV. Okay, from the sound bar and it's now in, on TV. So scroll down to the sound. So scroll down to sound. You can see the sound is currently showing TV speaker. You need to select on it. Okay, then go to the scroll to the side to the optical and select optical here we go and this is the audio if you look here it will show you is in optical just use the remote control to increase the volume so this is the audio and once it's in optical you can only control it using the sandbar remote control This is the audio. This is the audio. So it's nice. You're putting. Oh, thank you so much. Then I go to the field. And again, no. I just hear conservative MPs no. time and time again. I'm on analysis, short on answers. The question for us is how do you get that investment? So this is the audio. Thank so you very much indeed. And stay blessed. Thank you.